Hey everybody, have you ever wondered how they got those logos on the back of motorcycle seats? Or have you ever wondered how to use vinyl spray paint? That's what we're gonna do in today's video. I've got a great little example of a vintage seat with the logo and I'm gonna walk you through step by step as to how I added a logo to that vintage motorcycle seat that we restored on the channel. I hope you enjoy the video and uh, let's get right into it. So I've never done vinyl spray paint before, but here's what I picked up. LVP, leather, vinyl, and plastic refinisher. It's made to like paint an entire seat, but we're actually just gonna spray the logo on. This wasn't cheap. I wanna say it was like 18 bucks off of eBay. That's what I'm going with. And then I got this little sticker off of eBay. It's actually just like a little stencil that we can use. Here's what I got. Really easy to find. Head over to eBay, search for what you're looking for. Around 10 bucks, you're gonna get a little vinyl decal that works as a stencil. So let's dive right into it. I've got myself some alcohol pads. I just wanna get off any, any wax or anything because I did spray this down with some leather treatment. So I just wanna make sure that I clean the surface well and let it dry. Just some simple alcohol pads. All right, next order of business is applying our little stencil. Hopefully, I can just pull this all off on one fell swoop, just like this. Beautiful. And we are going to eyeball this up as best as we can. I'm gonna move you out of the way because I need to be able to see this. And I am gonna kinda eyeball it right about there. Yeah, I think that would work. Looks pretty darn good to me. Go ahead and press this down. All right, really make sure that you get the insides of the O, the D, and the A. We definitely don't want that piece falling off and just take our time and use our fingernail to make sure that we get really good adhesion on our stencil before we go and peel this top layer. All right, looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and slowly peel back, just kind of grabbing it by a corner here. Let's see if we can keep our stencil down nice and even. We don't wanna be really careful as we approach some of these other letters with the pieces in the middle, I'm keeping it taut. I'm keeping it really tight against it and pulling it off. Looks like we're going to be good on the O. Let's get you a little different view as I pull this up. Here you can really see. I'm like literally holding it against. Just kind of walking with my fingers here. Just watching for any kind of bubble up or a peel up of any kind. There's the D, we got one more. The A is probably gonna be the trickiest one. Can we get the A? Looks like we got it. All right, next thing we're gonna do is just start taping everything off. Make sure we don't get any of this paint all over this seat. You don't have to tape off the whole seat, just the back. All right, we're getting there for the rest of it. I'm gonna save myself some tape. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw my whole seat in a garbage bag. Because again, I don't want this stuff floating around on us. Just a little more tape and we're ready for paint. All right, we're all taped off. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at LVP Refinisher. Let's flip it over. Let's read some instructions together here. Pretty standard stuff here as far as spray paint goes. You're going to shake it vigorously for two minutes. And then you're going to do three mist coats with 10 minutes resting time in between each coat. Let's get after it. Here's a throwback reference. Shake your paint. All right. I think we're ready. We're popping the top. And of course, when I pull the top, the nozzle always falls off. So... Watch yourselves on that. There it is. Let's go one really quick light coat. There we go. We're gonna wait 10 minutes. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Time to go for coat two with this stuff. I will say 
This stuff is a little fumy, getting a little lightheaded, so I had to open the window and get some fans going. Let's go with our second mist coat. Here we go. Let's go for another 10 minutes. So here we can see after mist coat two, I think we're gonna be doing many, many coats on this because we are going over black. It's not a color match. So we're going over black and we're trying to do this white. On the back of the can, it does say that in some cases, you may need to do more coats, but just make sure that you're spacing those out by 10 minutes. All right, here we go. Coat three, mist coat three. There we go. I'm gonna wait another 10 minutes. It's getting closer. I think it's gonna need like two more though. I think we're getting really close with number four. Let's wait another 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, fifth time's the charm, I think. It's really close. I think that one's probably gonna do it. Try and get up close here for you. It's really matching the vinyl color which I don't want it like super poppy and dramatic. So I might be there. All right, everybody. I think it's time to unwrap this thing. It's been sitting and resting. Let's see what we got. Oh, the anticipation, the thrill, the suspense is building as we get close to reveal. All right, there we go. Just getting all the tape all cleaned up. All that's left to do on this is to carefully, carefully, very carefully remove the stencil. All right, I think we just get it started. I've got kind of a dull knife. Be really careful, I don't wanna puncture the seat. I just need to get this started here. All right, let's just carefully start to pull this thing across. See what happens. I don't know if the whole thing's gonna come peeling up or what. It's not sticking too. And I'm not gonna have to cut this all individually, am I? Oh, nope, I'm getting it. I might have sprayed that on just a little thick, but it's starting to come out. And just carefully go. Kind of watching the stencil. Hmm. This is all about pace and these little nooks. There, look at that. There we go. Just gotta be really patient. And I'll always be kind of pulling away, it feels like. There's the H. We'll come back for the middle of the O. I might have sprayed just a little bit too much paint on it. Let's keep going. Let's see what we end up with. This is tedious business. Yeah, I think I might have went like one coat too heavy because the material oh that came out really nice there we're going just watching the stencil it's like you're literally like just kind of tugging on it and manipulating it <laughs> all right to the d Ain't the cleanest job, but it is the first job. Learning something new every day. Only thing left to do is to get these little middle pieces out. I was hoping I could maybe just poke at the, the vinyl and get it to, there we go, almost had it, there we go. Just kind of pull at it from the middle. Don't even try to go at it from the edge. 
and just try to get it started. Man, this is unnerving. Pokey object just trying to get this thing started. There we go. Nice. All right, just a D and an A to go. Overall, not too bad. Just take your time. The last thing you want right now is to slip and poke a hole in that brand new seat. All right, here we go. Big reveal time. And there we go. We got a Honda logo on the back of the seat. It doesn't look awful. Let me see if I can zoom here. Again, it's not perfect. It bled a little bit. I think I put a little too much paint I think my I got a little too much paint on that H in the front end of the O. But other than that, you back away from that. That looks totally fine. I don't know. I'm pleased. You know what? From a galloping horse, it looks all right. I'll take it. Not too bad for my first try with vinyl spray paint. So there you go, every step in the process of adding that logo to a vinyl or a leather seat. I think it actually turned out really, really good, especially when you compare it to an original. The style is the same, and uh, you know what, that seat's really, really dirty. This one is brand freaking new. I used a bit of an off-white color to make sure it didn't pop too much, and I'm sure it'll probably fade a little bit over time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please be sure to subscribe. Also, go ahead and find us on Facebook, the Keep On Wrenching Community Group. And if you want a free sticker, be sure to head on over to keeponwrenching.com. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video or live stream.